Hey guys, welcome back to Easel Does It Studio. Today we're going to do a little pug. And before I get into it too much, if I sound a little off, it's because I haven't slept all well, but two hours. Um, my husband was in an accident with our only vehicle. Um, he hit a deer this morning bringing my granddaughter to college. They're fine. Um, the car's got some damage, but you know, we're, he's getting a hold of the insurance company and all that. So, but, um, I had company over last night and I didn't get to bed until like 4.15 this morning. And then he woke me up at 6.35 when he hit the deer. So <laughs> I could not go back to sleep. So, but I want to get this video out. So what we're going to do today is we are going to do this cute little pug. I've been dying to do him. He is going to be a matte mold. He does have a lot of texture in him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up the bronze metallic powder. And hopefully it doesn't just all flow and it stays mixed in. So I've made up six ounces. I poured a couple in there. I've got four in here because I don't know how much this is going to take. So we're just going to, we're just going to put some in and see, because both of my, my pugs were fawn colored with the black face. So I figured if I did him in this, like it's a, it's called rustic gold, actually. I figured that that would probably be the closest color. And actually, it's probably going to be a little too dark. So I might grab some of my white pigment paste and put a little in and see if we can just lighten it up a smidge. So I am using the Bond Crafter resin because I really, really liked the results of it. I liked the way it worked. So, um, yeah. But see how the powder's still not like mixed in, it's floating on the top. So that's what you wanna make sure you get really mixed in. And my video that was supposed to go out um, Wednesday night that just would not load, I had to delete it this morning because it was over 12 hours and it was still like just, I don't know what was going on. So the, the, um, the video that was supposed to go out on Wednesday is going to be going out on Thursday so and that is using this um, bond crafter resin so and I like how this has a little bit of like sparkle to it all right so I'm gonna add a little bit of white this is just the ocean white by let's resin So I figured since the project before this was a very long one, I'm going to do a short and sweet one today. Well, try to. <laughs> I'll say try because every single time I try and make a short video, it doesn't work out. All right, so... I'm just going to let that sit for a minute. So you can see some of that powder coming up with those bubbles popping. So I'll, I'm going to give this about five minutes to degas, and then I will come back when it is time to pour. And that way there you guys aren't having to sit here and watch bubbles pop with me and then if we don't need this 
um, I will find something else to put that in. So I will be right back, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead, get this poured. I am going to spray it because it is so textured, and I want to make sure that I get in his little tail and his little paws. All right. So... Stop there. And let me take a dotting tool. Get in that tail. And I'm just kind of rubbing the bottom. So if there are any bubbles in there, I'm trying to get them dislodged. So it's probably going to take the whole six ounces, guys. going to pour the rest of this in this cup so I can mix it without the ribs in the cup. So when I thought that was actual mica powder that wasn't mixed, but it's not, it's the, the bubbles self popping. Once I was watching it, I'm like, oh, okay, it's not unmixed. It's just, and because it's a metallic, it's leaving like little metallic-y dots. All right. So I will put one drop of white. Because I'd put two in the other one, so. that a little spritz of alcohol. All right. So it took it took 5 ounces maybe a little bit more all right Just going around. I don't I don't want no bubbles in my little puggy. Jennifer, 
All right. All right, so what I'll do is I will get this over my curing table and finish filling it in. And if it doesn't take everything, I'll make an extra. And, um, yeah, we will go from there. So I will be back on demold, guys. <clears throat> all righty, guys. We are all cured. So I ended up making some... Uh, cross, these are going to be keychains. I'm not going to finish them um, tonight just because it's Halloween and I just, I want to get this video done. So hopefully in the, uh, the final pictures, I will have them finished. I'm just going to put like a key ring through there and nothing spectacular. I still have not slept, so... I am exhausted, so, but I wanted to get this video out for you guys. No bubbles. I'm so impressed. I really am with this. I had a little overage here, but <coughs> so yeah, we just had our first few trick-or-treaters. This one, I do have a, a few little bubbles which I kind of figured because I didn't spray it with alcohol. And same thing with these, just because I was tired. But overall, they came out really good. So I think once I top coat these, um, yeah, I'm hoping I can bring some life to them. I don't know. Oh, this one's really nice. And I only got one little bubble here and here. So that one's not too, too bad. But So those are the extras. But this is the little guy that I have been dying to see. Because I miss my little Zeusy so much. Oh, he is adorable. Oh, buddy. Oh, mama misses you so much. So I've got a little trimming to do, um, but I'm going to do that once he completely cools down a little bit. All right. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of that extra off. Oh, he is so, so precious. All right. So let me let's see. These are the acrylic. Let me get my oil markers. The oil ones seem to work better, in my opinion, anyways. So I am going to be doing him in the mixed mold. So look forward to a video coming up with that because I'm and I want to do him in the um, the Let's Resin Squishies. Yeah, so. All right, so let's get his little nose painted. Yeah, my husband has been, he asked me, he said, did you do the pug yet? I'm like, no. I haven't done the pug yet. All right, let me put the... 
cover down. <laughs> so the color is actually pretty close to um, his color. So I'm glad I chose that color. Oh. All right, so... Just going to try to get some of the areas that he had some dark. Oh, I must have some more trick or treat is. Oh my gosh, he is so, so adorable. His whole little uh, snout was pretty dark. <laughs> so, and like I said, he is a matte finish. So you could use um, like acrylic paint or acrylic markers. I'm using the oil just because to me they cover better than the acrylic. They do take a little longer to dry, but that's fine. Um, and he had some black over his eyes. And I could not find my, I have some little dog bone tags. Um, they make like keychains, and for life of me, I cannot find them. So, and I know that I was just really tired today. So tomorrow, once I've had a good night's sleep, I'm going to look again, because I probably looked right past them and um, I'm gonna make him a little bone with um, his name on it. black on his ears. <laughs> he is so cute. I miss my little bud.
Had some darker darker spots but not completely black on his little ears. And I do have one little bubble on the bottom of the ear. But he is still he is still adorable. <laughs> There's my little puggy. There's my little puggy. All right. I'll just... definitely had some really dark dark eyes so Because my, my Zeus had a little bit more black on his face than, than my female pug did. He almost had a complete, like, black mask. <laughs> oh, my word. And he did have a slight little streak right down the center of his back that um, he had some dark on.
There you are. A little guy. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Let me know what you think. And we will be doing him, I am sure, a whole bunch of times. So I will get some final pictures and get them posted for you. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. Bye.